Yes, my dear, you want to go on the B449? When you get to the crossroads, turn left towards the ridgeway. You follow the track all the way up to the top. Then, when you get to the top, you see a barn on the left. When you get to the barn, go through the barn, through the other one, and there'll be a fucking great big rig by play tech. <laughs> Rave culture was always supposed to polarise people. Depending on your experiences, it's either one of the UK's great exports or a symptom of our own moral decline. But after a nationwide clampdown in the mid-90s, the scene was forced further into the underground, with new super clubs and licensed, sanitised parties taking their place. Recent years have seen an institutionalised attack on the nation's nightlife, with nearly half of all British clubs closing down in the last decade. So what happens next? An illegal rave renaissance of young ravers using the UK's complicated squatting laws to break in, set up, keep the police at bay, and go hard. Fueled by boredom and lit by social media, the scene has left a trail of chaos across the country, with a number of incidents involving riot police and more than one fatality in its wake. But with the full weight of the British media upon it, and the police using increasingly extreme tactics to shut parties down, can it survive? The locations, they just magically appear. With the right tools, it gets you in anywhere, to be honest. You just have to have the master key to the city. Police had a, a force out to stop raves. They always come in over force, right gear. What's the point? We can't stop kids from doing what they do. It's not simply a bunch of guys and a bunch of speakers in the field. It's bringing people together in a way that nothing else really does. When I need you, and I need to get some rest, yo. Where's the sex? I confess, I burned a hole in the mattress. Yes, yes, it was me. I plain guilty, and on the corner of a tree, I pull back the TV, make my way to the refrigerator. One drop potato inside, no lie, not even bread. Jam, when the light above my head went bang. I can't sleep, something all over me Greasing, it's on me young Please release me and let it be dream About making mad love on a heap Tearing love, chatting with my teeth But there's no release, I'm wide awake In my kitchen, it's dark and I'm lonely Or if I could only get some sleep Cricket nose, make my skin creep I need to get some sleep I can't get no sleep Insomnia I can't get no sleep, 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 sleep,
feeling Sunshine Storyteller
will mit ihnen spielen, die unbefangenen Spiele meines Instinkts, meinen Mut wiederfinden, meine Kühnheit, mein Ich fühlen. Gebt sie mir wieder, meine schwarzen Puppen, meine schwarzen Puppen. dass die fleischliche Notdorf der Nase rümpfenden Barmherzigkeiten nicht weiter befriedigen muss.
One day, one day some of the kids from the neighborhood carried my mother's groceries all the way home. You know why? It was out of respect. Drum, 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 drum,
For my next number, I'd like to return to the classics. to return to the classics.
everyone calm down and be compliant. Everyone just calm down. What's the problem? Everyone just calm down. Calm down. Half an hour to get out. Thank you. Go, thank you. You can film as much as you like. Go. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, shit. 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 What section is Ali? Is it 63? Oh, it's legit. Shit. I'm just wondering what more you could possibly have to do with your time than be there. They're not making us leave or Everyone can turn back and go home and drive. Sammy needs to control that dog. Is that your dog? 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 Is Mothering bitch. What is your problem with that? Well, your dogs are your dogs on a leash. No, no. That's fine. That's fine. Any other dog, any if other dog. If your dog's on a leash, then she's okay to be here. Don't start, don't start with your dog. I'm an excellent dog owner. This is a story of a young man who is in Wales for the first time.
good turnout today. I'm glad it happened. There's been kids here dancing to the music, people giving each other hugs, everyone joining together in unity, so it's been a good turnout. So how much of it was a party and how much of it was protest? It was a mix, obviously. Yeah, we yeah. all knew it was what it was going to turn out to be. It was just a polite way of saying fuck you, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> And how have you found the police? Yeah, but they've been all right, but I think they're going to try and close it off soon because of uh, Section 35. I think it's Anti-Social Behaviour Act. Right, somewhat. OK, yeah, yeah. Do you consider this to be anti-social behaviour? No, oh, I don't think it's anti-social behaviour, but you know they do. There's more police coming down the road now. <laughs> the dust has settled, shortage has returned to normal. There was something quite transgressive and something quite interesting about seeing all this chaos and all the police and all this jump up and like balloons and cans of beer for all the kind of you know leftist politics that were going on towards the end of it the most political part of it was actually the party itself and i mean there was no slogans or banners or anything like that there was not really even that much of a message and whether it's in a field in north wales or a warehouse in east london the real political statement is in the chaos of it rather than any kind of like manifesto whether the people who throw these parties realize that is kind of a different question but i think the scene will always kind of reinvigorate itself because people will always want to do something which they, they're not allowed to and they want to do something that kind of pushes through the boundaries of normal living and that's what these raves offer to people. What was happening inside was the culmination of everything we'd heard about. Hundreds and hundreds of young ravers skanking on the broken concrete sucking on dummies and huffing on balloons. This was pure, unadulterated, underground youth culture in its rawest form. For these kids, it was simply a release, one made even more vital by the incredible lack of anything they could call their own. They had taken the ideals of the original rave generation, the same search for freedom in a society that won't offer it, and forged their own fight back with a scene that's totally of its time. Something louder, harder, Less idealistic, but every bit as hedonistic. The police, the authorities, and the property developers might be moving closer, but for now, the scene is a long way from being locked off. <laughs>